The thing I learned here is regardless of age or experience, etc., you know, we're all working as one team. Without team effort, you can do what you see right here. My job is to check ground conditions as we go mining. It's important that we keep an eye on the geology. We don't want any surprises. This year, the Geological Society of London is celebrating the 100th anniversary of women fellows in the Geological Society. So we can think that before 100 years ago, they were not even accepted to be part of this uh, society. It's not that long ago, they opened the door for us and I'm very grateful for them for doing that and for being able to work in what I do today. So here at Kirtling Street, the main tunnel drive site for Central, we've got two TVMs running underground at the moment. The first, which set off about 11 months ago, has nearly completed its drive. This is the, the second storage yard at Kirtling. We've got a capacity for storing 200 rings. Uh, that will be behind me and also in the acoustic set. The, the mine looks simple, but there is nothing simple about segments. We're asking a lot from those segments, those rings. To have 120 years design life, they need to hold back five bar pressure of water. They're extremely well designed to withstand all those conditions and requirements. All the segments come in by uh, barge. We try and remove, reduce as much uh, vehicle movements as we can. Typically, one barge reduces about 50 vehicle movements on the road. Definitely a better way of doing it than bring it by, uh, by vehicle. It's amazing to think less than a year ago we hadn't laid a single one of the segment rings and now we've done almost five kilometres of the whole tunnel. My name is Janice Kajoshi and I'm a construction engineer at Chambers Wharf. Chambers Wharf is Tideweek main drive site, so we'll be recepting the Greenwich Connection Tunnel and launching the TBM for the main tunnel D. In addition to that, we're also receiving the TBM from main tunnel C. A couple of months ago, we completed our excavations, pulled our base lab, and we're currently working on our secondary lining. I was 17 years of age when I started. My Knowledge was sort of minimal, I was sort of fresh into the field. And once you build that bond with the site team, so both in the office and on site, when they know you're young and you know, you're know you more inexperienced, they obviously look after you more. And um, where I am now, compared to where I was three years ago when I first started, it's, it's a fairly big step to all young engineers out there. You've got the whole world in your hands. Once you're young, you know, you've got nothing to lose. You know, everything's a learning curve. All from, from the beginning of your career, all the way to retirement. So. Whenever you see an opportunity, just tackle that and uh, make the most you can out of it.